Hello, my name is Terry Harrison. I'm going to show you how to paint a coastal sunset in watercolour. I've already prepared the drawing. The next stage is to put on the masking fluid. So dip the brush into the masking fluid and start to mask off some of the breaking waves as they come in towards the shoreline. So there's the crest of some of the waves. Then here in the foreground, a little bit larger. And then the sun's going to be around, roughly around about here. So I'm just going to lighten the sea with some masking fluid. So bring that through the waves. So just make sure it comes down straight towards you. And in the trough of the wave there. And on the shoreline, just that little line of surf on the beach. All right, just put in one or two more light speckles of sunlight on the sea. Along the coastline, just one or two little dots of foam just crashing against the rocks on the coast there. Wash the brush out, then allow the masking fluid to dry. Once the masking fluid is dry, we then wet the sky area first with some clean water. So bring that down to the horizon, up over the headland, into the corner of the painting. Make sure it's even, then. Some cadmium yellow. Now cadmium yellow can be a bit too, uh, too eggy, so I'm just going to put in a touch of cadmium red, just to soften the colour just a little bit. The lightest part of the painting is here where the sun is. So you, above the masked off area, that's where the sun is going to be. So that's going to be the lightest area. So paint that out, like that. touch more red. Like that. Then with a little bit more red, cadmium red. Bring that along the bottom of the sky to the headland. A little bit stronger. Bring that up into the yellow, like that. Wash the brush out. Some permanent rose, bring that down into the yellow from the top. Again, wash the brush out, then with some cobalt blue, start at the top of the painting and bring that down into the permanent rose. So what I've done here is I've put a barrier between the yellow and the blue, which is that uh, pink colour, and that stops the yellow from becoming green. Then, with some tissue, make a little pad, and just take out a light area in the centre. With the colour shadow, I'm going to put some clouds drifting across the, the sun. So it's wet into wet. But when it comes down into here, where we've taken off the moisture, it's got a harder edge.
then bring that along, sort of horizontally flatter at the bottom of the uh, sky. and drift that up into that top corner. Allow that to dry. Once the sky has dried and dried completely, so the next thing we're going to do is put some masking tape over the horizon onto the sky. So if it's slightly damp, it's going to lift the paint or the paper when we actually remove the tape. So, get a, a length of tape. And to stop it from being so tacky, if you just use your fingers, just go over the, uh, the sticky side. <laughs> it's, it's a very interesting way of doing this. There we are. So it's a low tack piece of masking tape along the horizon just make sure it's flat don't push too hard next bit is the, the sea itself you're going to start off with the large brush and cadmium yellow with some cadmium red Start in the centre then go up and this is going to be darker. So I'm going to use some ultramarine and some shadow. Touch more ultramarine. Bring that down into that orangey colour. then up to the horizon. Wash the brush out. Go back to that orangey color. Down into the surf. Some more shadow and bring that into the center like that. Just even that out a little bit. Go back to the tissue and just lightly lift off that colour through the centre, like that. Then allow that to dry.